Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss dynamic circuits and domino logic. From the subject VLSI design. First, let us see the contents. First topic, introduction to dynamic circuits, then dynamic circuit operation, problem with dynamic circuits, monotonicity problem and the finally we are going to see domino logic. So first let us see why we go for dynamic circuits or what is dynamic circuit. In the static circuit we have studied ratioed circuits. The main drawback of ratioed circuits are slow rising transition, contention on the falling transition and static power dissipation. So to overcome these drawback we go for the dynamic circuits. Uh, so here the figure shows a normal static SEMA circuit, then pseudo NMOS circuit. So pseudo NMOS is nothing but ratio circuit. Then the last one is dynamic inverters. So in pseudo NMOS circuit, the PMOS transistor is connected to the ground. That means the PMOS transistor will be always in on state. So this is the problem creates the drawback in ratio circuits. So to overcome this drawback in dynamic circuit, the PMOS transistor is connected to a clock signal. So depending upon the clock value, that is either it may be 0 or 1, the operations take place. So next, let us see what is the dynamic circuit operation. So I already have said in dynamic circuit, the PMOS transistor is connected to a clock signal. So depending upon the value of the clock, there is two modes of operation. One is pre-charge mode and another one is evaluation mode. So pre-charge mode means the clock value will be equal to zero. So if clock is zero means then PMOS transistor will be in the on state. During evaluation mode the clock value will be equal to one. So at that time the PMOS transistor will be in the off state. So the graph shows the pre-charge evaluation and pre-charge mode. So during the pre-charge the output Y is high. And during the evaluation mode, the output is low. And again during the pre-charge mode, the output becomes high. So let us see the problem with dynamic circuit. That is, this is a problem occurred in dynamic circuit. When the clock signal is equal to zero, what happens? The PMOS transistor will be in the on state. At the same time, if you are giving the input as one, so at that time, the NMOS transistor will be also in the on state. So both the PMOS and the NMOS transistor will be on. So this is called as contention. So in order to avoid this problem, we go for an extra transistor called as foot. So the extra NMOS transistor is connected at the bottom. So this is called as footed dynamic inverter shown in figure. Monotonicity problem. So this is also an important problem in dynamic circuits. So monotonicity problem means uh, here the in the figure we can see A is the input, phi is the clock signal and Y is the output. So during pre-charge mode, phi value will be equal to 0 and at, the at that time output Y will be high. Then during evaluation mode, when phi is equal to 1, the output y should be equal to 0. So this is the normal procedure. So but sometimes the a value may go from high to low during evaluation mode. So if a is equal to 0 then uh, immediately the output y should go to high. But here the output will not rise high. So this problem is called as monotonicity problem. So to overcome this monotonicity problem, we go for domino logic. So domino game already we know, it is shown in the figure. If we trigger one uh, domino, it will uh, hit the other dominoes and like that it goes on. So this is the game, domino game. The same concept is used in domino logic circuit also. Here what we are doing means in between the dynamic gates, we are going to insert an inverter so that this monotonicity problem can be overcome. So the figure shows a domino circuit. So here in domino circuit, here two stages are there. So in between the stages, we have added an inverter. So in between W and X, there is an inverter. Similarly, in between Y and Z, there is an inverter. So this inverter is added to 
remove the monotonicity problem because we know when the input changes to low the output immediately should change to high but it will not change this problem is called as monotonicity problem so here we are using an inverter to change that value to high so for that purpose only the inverter is added so using this concept we can overcome the monotonicity problem so in the figure uh, phi shows the clock signal so pre charge evaluation and again pre charge so during pre charge phi is equal to 0 during evaluation mode phi is equal to 1 and again during pre charge phi is equal to 0 so when phi is equal to 0 w goes to high so if w goes to high then x goes to low so if x goes to low then y turns on that is y goes to high so this is the normal procedure then, then during the evaluation mode first w goes to low so due to that x goes to high so here uh, if the input changes then the output y again goes to low so if uh, if output y is low then is it will immediately changes to high so here the monotonicity problem is overcome i hope you all have understood the concept of dynamic circuit and domino logic if you like this video, kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends. Thank you.